Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's your old buddy T-Dog. I am in the shop today and I am working on the 56 Ford. I've put a, I've glued a couple of pieces together. The seats are together and uh, the engine started and I painted the carburetors and we're just, we're just getting started. Uh, I thought I might share some of this with y'all, if you don't mind. Uh, I'm going to be doing some uh, painting of some parts and things like that, and uh, I'm uh, I'm inviting you along for the ride. So here we go. First thing I need to do is paint these headman headers. We're going to come at them with a little bit of steel looking, and we'll probably we might weather them up a little bit. But uh, hope everybody's having a great day. I hope that light right there is not bothering you too bad. I had to move it a little bit. I noticed in the last uh, video that it was a little bright. So trying to fix that. We'll uh, we'll get straightened out. We'll get straightened out. Okay. So we're going. I hope you guys can. I'll try to hold it up here where you can see it. I know it's difficult to see some of this stuff, so. And as always, my hands are shaky, y'all, so just, uh, uh, I'm sure y'all are used to that. Anybody that's watched my uh, channel for any amount of time knows that I've got bad tremors in my hands. It's just something I deal with. All right. You might hear the grandkids in the background. They're kind of fussy today. I don't think they're feeling too good, to be honest with you. Whatever this garbage is that's going around, I think everybody's catching it. So, uh, keep them in your prayers, guys. Keep all of us in your prayers. We're uh, day by day, you know, and uh, things are getting better. Uh, things are looking up for us. So, uh, I sent out, I'm not going to mention names, but... So, a couple of y'all had asked for shop cards. Those got sent out today. Uh, sent out some distributors, some wire distributors. Um, I think that's it. So anybody else that wants to, to uh, swap shop cards, put it down in the comment section below or send me an email. And I'll put my email up at the end of the video so y'all can... So y'all know that the ones that don't, uh, to my new subscribers, welcome. Uh, oh, and another thing, the shop cards that I'm sending out now are modified. We marked out garage and put an S on car. So it's T-Dogs model cars. Now the decals, <clears throat> I just cut garage off of them. So it says T-Dogs model car for now. I've got more decals coming. All right. So we got we got them painted. Now we're going to come over here to the hair dryer. So there's that now. Like I said, we got the engine halves together. We got the the uh, heads on there. We got the two four barrel uh, intake on there. So we can paint that as one unit before we put the uh, headers on it and the carburetors. I'm going with, let me see if I can find, there it is. I'm going with this setup right here for the uh, chrome breather. And for the two carburetors, nothing sticking out of the hood. I don't want a hole in the hood or nothing like that. I think I've decided that I'll use the Thunderbird valve covers. We will uh, we'll black wash them, make them look nice. May use the chrome oil pan. Uh, I think it's the only oil pan in here, to be honest with you. Um, let's see, what else? 
this is this is going to be a custom okay and i'm thinking seriously about that custom grill right there with the surround and everything this one's going to be different than i've done in i won't say ever but it'll be a little different which is no big deal wheels and tires let me put that in the water so far what i've come up with is clean that off before we, before we put that lid back on and this is a trick that i use if you if you've never used this trick before by all means clean out your lid to your paint clean off the rim and that way when you go to open that thing next time It'll be ready. It won't stick and all that crap. So, here's, here's an idea. I'm not sure exactly. I'm, I'm thinking low custom, lake pipes. Um, it will be blue and white. I think I'm going to use the Tamiya TS50 blue. It's a beautiful blue. I'm thinking about... Not the hubcaps, but I'm thinking about these tires. And I haven't really decided on my wheel combination yet. I've looked at a few different ones. I've got, I've got some nice Raiders here, although I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want the dark spokes on this car. I would probably just do them the magnesium looking ones if I was to do that. And I would use the white wall tires if I go that way. I've got in my stash somewhere, and I've got to hunt it down. I have a, a set of Pegasus white walls with uh, chrome reverse wheels that would look really good on this car so uh, i might be going that way i haven't really decided so that's kind of up in the air i really don't want to put big wheels and tires on it or nothing like that i want to stay traditional okay so anyway the hunt is on for those but for right now we're going to continue painting and getting it ready and then We'll see where we're at. I'll get uh, I'll get somebody to bring bring my wheels drawer in here later on because I've got them sorted. We've got ninety percent of the wheels sorted and started on the tires before we got into this, so that's a good thing. That's that's great. That's perfect. Okay. Engine's supposed to be red. Let's find a good red. That's about as red as you come right there. Candy apple. So we'll we'll use that. Here we go. Yeah. Okay.
Let's go with the second coat. It'll make it look even better. I got a paint to start her. Not bad. Not bad. Now I gotta get the front of the engine. We're gonna do it that way. Put a second code on it. <clears throat> there it is. Good to go. Put you over here for now. Okay, so that's that part and that part. Keep that handy over there. Right. Leave this here to clean the brush with. I, sw I swirl it around in the water. I don't dab it down. Because you mess up your brushes that way. Wear them out a whole lot quicker than they would be. They're my grandkids. <laughs> They're playing right now, I think, which is good. I, I love hearing them play. Can't stand hearing them cry because, you know, I, for one thing, I, I, I can't stand to hear them in pain or to be unhappy I'd rather them be happy babies deserve to be happy all right put that out of the way a little bit here right there and we're ready to put the cap back on now we'll put that away okay so now, what I can put that on there. I don't see a thing wrong with doing that. Then I can paint the that paint the transmission bell housing the same as the engine <clears throat> excuse me so let's see what all is going to be silver feel free to comment in the comment section below, uh, tell me what you think about uh, what's going on, what you think about the channel. Uh, like and subscribe, if you will. Tell your friends about us. Share us. Um, send us an email. Uh, I'm on Facebook. If you want to send me a friend request, Tony Evans, send me a friend request. 
Um, what else? And I've got a Facebook group, uh, T Dogs Model Cars, also Model Car Mafia established 2018. And uh, Plastaholics Anonymous, another great group. Uh, MSMV Podcast, Manny, <clears throat> great channel. Go check him out. Uh, I've got uh, several that I have uh, subscribed to. There's there's a bunch of uh, a bunch of good channels and everything. Check them out, and uh, you'll be glad you did. Now we're gonna. This is dry, so I think I'm just gonna paint this, holding it. I'd have lost my brush there for a minute. All right, here we go. Let's paint these tie rods silver. There's that. Make sure I got all the... Hey, looky here. Looky here, everybody. Look who's here. Hi. Miss T-Dog. And Jasper. And Jasper. <laughs> you see it? Hey, hey, tell him, yeah. Come on. Come on. That's my grandson, little Jay. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, okay. Yeah, why not? Do the spindles and silver. A little bit of, a little bit of breaking up some of the color anyway. Sorry. Right. I'm sorry, baby. You okay? Let me get you. Bye, buddy. Goodbye, Papa. Cool. All right. Uh, drive shaft, I think, black maybe. Like I said, I want to cook. Want to break up the. Uh, colors a little bit. You know, I don't want I don't want everything to be black or everything to be silver on the suspension and you know. So we're gonna break it up a little bit. Let's see what else we got. Now I know. So what we're gonna do right now This is an exhaust extension. And I believe it will lead, well it will, it will lead to the lake pops, side pops, whatever you want to call them. There's the other one. I like sorting parts, I do, but this is so much more fun. <laughs> All right, black, right? So, my son might be gloss, some might be satin, some might be flat. I think I'll do a satin first. I hope y'all are having as much fun as I am. <laughs> All right. 
So, let's get this first. Let's do drive shaft. Thinking. I know it's dangerous. Can y'all believe the weekend is already upon us? That is, time is flying by. Of course, when you're disabled, retired, whatever, time does go by quick. It really does. I've noticed that. I've been out of work since 2020, disabled since 2021, and I have noticed that weeks go, pew, they're gone. And it just, I guess what I'm trying to say is, don't waste your time. You get, we, we don't have a lot of it. Don't waste it. You know, spend time with your family. You know, build a model when you've got the, time, the chance to. Spend time with your family. Spend time with your kids, your grandkids, man. Because uh, we, don't want, we don't know what the next minute holds. You know, we're not promised. But... I'm just saying, take advantage of the time, build you a model, spend time with your family, you know, because that's what it's all about. This is a 69, 1969 issue of this kit. And it's the same issue as the one my dad built when I was a kid. And I started to build it the way he did it, to the T, just about. And after talking to him, he said he would rather have a T-Dog Customs build. That's the name of my shop. So... He's going to get a T-Dog Customs build. My, that's my way. And I think, well, I don't have to think. I know he's going to love it. Everything I've ever built for him, I've, he's loved it. So I'm not worried about that. I've got a general idea of where I'm going with this. It's going to be, it's going to be a custom. Um... Custom parts will definitely be used. I've never, never built one with the custom parts. I built a, I built a red and white one for my mom a few years back because it was like one that uh, her dad, my grandpa, had owned. Red and white, pretty much the same thing except it had steel wheels with the uh, little baby moon hubcaps and. It come out really nice. I gave it to her for Christmas one year and she just loved it. I enjoy building models, especially for my parents because they're the ones that got me into this. I mean, dad did for sure, but also mom, uh, she built a couple back in the day. I know that she built at least one the uh, low rider 57 Chevy doors open and all that stuff on it trunk I think too she built one and put figured out a way to put carpet in it by using I think cotton if it, if I'm correct and uh, I thought that was pretty cool so here a few years back I built her the 57 Chevy as well, before I did the 56. I did it up baby blue, put carpet on the interior. Now, when I do carpet, what I use, I'll show it to you here in a minute. I got a piece of it over here. 
Let me get this covered real good. felt sheets of felt now when i was buying this i could get them for like 25 cents a sheet i'm sure they're more than that now but i mean you glue it down i mean you cut it to fit of course you glue it down uh, you can get different colors of it and it looks just like carpet the scale is right you don't have to worry about that flocking some people use flocking i got nothing against flocking i don't i might have used it excuse me, one time, and uh, I liked it, but that felt, man, it's easy. It's just real easy. I love it. So keep that in mind. It works. Radiator hose. Oh, radiator hose here. All right. Another one of my little clamps here. I think we'll Alright. Heater box. Heater box, I believe that's what that is. Got it painted. There's the man, there's the headers. Got them painted. Oh, battery. Need to paint it. Uh, hmm. How are we gonna do this? Just like that. That's how we're gonna do it. Battery. So, flat black. Time is flying today. We done been on here going on an hour. I might have to cut it short here soon. So I got some other things to do. But man, I appreciate y'all joining me today. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below. What you think of what's going on. What you think of my channel. Heck, if you want to say something about what you think of me, go for it. Well, I'm going to get some smart aleck comments out of that. So I just opened myself up. <laughs> but anyway, um... I think that's probably going to do it today. I hope everybody has enjoyed this, and we will uh, we'll continue uh, next time. Hopefully, the you know the health will uh, hold out to where I can have another day in here, another good day. They come and they go, and I take advantage of them when I can. So, but uh, we're having a good day today. So, so uh, I guess that's all I got, guys. I appreciate you tuning in. We'll catch you next time on T-Dogs Model Car. <laughs>